Okay guys, so we're back with Don again, and Don's gonna tell me a little bit about Kick Kick. Now I'm under the understanding that Kick Kick is his most popular product, and it's for a good reason. Don, why don't you tell him why? Well, Kick Kick effectively eliminates the ick parasite, and it does this not by killing the parasite. You see that white spot on the fish, nothing's gonna touch that, but okay. what it does, it, it matures, it drops off to the bottom of the tank, yeah. substrata. It produces a gelatinous coat that's also impervious. A couple days later, while it's in there, it's replicating and it comes out 208 tomites, free swimming tomites, looking for new eyes to each spore. Mm -hmm. That's when they're vulnerable. That's when Kick Kick does its job. And what does it actually do when well, it's interacting with, right. the, with the parasite? How does it kill them? Well, that's why Kick Kick is specific to the ick parasite. It's a ciliated protozoan, and they use that cilia to swim and to latch on to a new host. Kick Kick stops them from being able to use that cilia right. to swim or to latch onto a new host if they bumped into one, yeah. they drop to the bottom and they lose that window opportunity to find a new host, thereby eliminating the infection. Awesome. So Don, I think it's pretty impressive that you, uh, and a lot of hobbyists don't actually know it, but why, um, we know when ick is vulnerable, but we don't know how the product is actually interacting and killing them. We know it's killing them, but I think it's great that you, you know how, and uh, it definitely makes me feel real comfortable with this product. However, Another thing that has to be mentioned is that it's reef safe, a planted aquarium safe, um, fish safe, and the reason being is because there's no copper? That's correct. There's no copper. There are no toxic chemicals in the production of this. But also, uh, people have to remember, when you see, when you use this product, you've got a sick tank. You've got to use it for at least two weeks after you see the last white spot. Awesome. You have to eliminate that parasite in all its life stages. So it takes about two weeks to get all of them out. So okay. you treat, the normal treatment is for a two week period. Yep. But if you see it, sometimes a, an, activation, an activation will occur during the treatment process on another fish. Mm -hmm. And that has to be treated as well as a new. So it's two weeks after you see the last white spot. And that's gonna eliminate the problem. All right, folks, well, I think that you know now that how and why it works and some of the pros to it. Uh, it's also very easy and effective to use. So I hope that this brings you a little bit more insight into uh, kicking. Anyways, Don, thanks for having me again. Thank you.